All right, day four, St. Lawrence River. Made the top 10 in this one. It's the first time ever that I've top 10 to smallmouth dominated event. So, not bad. We'll take it. We did it at the right time, too. But we got a shot to win this one. We just got to get out there and catch definitely north of 25 pounds. Probably going to need 27 or 28 pounds to have a shot at this one. Not even 24, 24 hours old, our brand new, new angler, angler of the year. year. Let's, Let's hear it for your, for your progressive, progressive bass master angler of the year, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Kyle, uh, what, what was last night? I mean, I kind of joke with you backstage, you kind of screwed it up. More normally, the angler of the year goes out and parties, but you obviously had a tournament to focus on. Yeah, you know, I, I would say, unfortunately, we couldn't, but it's nice to have a shot at this tournament also. So, I mean, it kind of set in last night, and I was looking at the trophy, and I was just texting pictures of the trophy to some of my buddies, and I'm like, man, I can't believe I got this thing. It's one of the most coveted trophies in professional sports, but one more Elite Series title, and you're five fish away from it, and you have... That dude in front of you with a disheveled mustache trying to take that title and get yet another century belt on his resume. Yeah, you know, there's no way I thought that mustache could possibly be good luck, but it turns out it must be. So, I mean, that might be the trend for all of us next year. Well, and the hair thing has been a thing for you. Like, literally, since you started catching them, you have not cut your hair, correct? I was actually trying to get a haircut before Okeechobee, and we had back-to-back -back ones. So I went to Okeechobee, made the cut, and then I went to Seminole and made the cut. So I said, as soon as I miss a cut, I'll cut it that night. And it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see how long it gets. I can't wait to see you when we kick off next season. Let's hear it for your angle right here. Oh, 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 well, sir. We're 20 seconds away from kicking off. I got everybody doing what we're doing in a perfect amount of time. 2023. <laughs> from Somerville, South Carolina, Walter, behind the two-time plastic qualifier, and your brand new progressive bass master angler of the year from Alabama, Stoke Cold Kyle Walter, the very first Canadian here to win a so first of all, congratulations on winning Angler of the Year yesterday. Right. This morning, things not going quite as well as they were yesterday afternoon. Tell right. us a little bit about what happened. Yeah, you know, yesterday was kind of like a storybook thing, and then today is the exact opposite. But, you know, you fished up here in this big water. You know the strain it puts on equipment, you know, and I use some of the best equipment in the world, but just multiple days of pushing it and sending it through those big water and big waves, man, it take, it's wear and tear on your, on your equipment. So a couple of mechanical issues this morning, but hopefully we get them figured out pretty quick and get back out there to the lake where them big ones live. So everybody's been watching this week. No, you've been going a long way. Yep. With, with not much time, you know, right. you're not, we're still standing here in the parking lot right yeah. now. Are you still gonna go make that run to try to get those bigger fish or fish close? Yeah, there's there's no doubt. You know, the first day, it took me like two hours to get over there, and then in 45 minutes, I had 25.10. So, I mean, that, that could happen at any time, and then I'll actually have a little bit more time to fish today, but we'll get over there, and the wind's supposed to calm down, so I think I can push it, stay out there a little bit longer today, because there is an evening bite. It seems like after 12.30 that it really starts to pick up, so maybe I can capitalize on some of that bite this evening, cut it close, and make it back to weigh in with a little bit smoother water. So I talk about momentum in this sport. You know it in all sports. Yep. It's, it's all about momentum. It's incredible. You just won Angle of the Year yesterday. Your second place, but you're standing in the parking lot and yeah. they're catching them. Right, right now. And you still think you can win this tournament? Yeah, definitely. You know, all it takes is like this tournament right here, there's so many three and three quarters to four and a quarter fish in this lake. All it takes is a couple of those six pound smallmouth, or I've had two six and a half. Those types of bites, they only take two minutes, you know, and that's what really separates yourself. So get out there and fill a limit with some, you know, four pounders, a couple fives, and then catch one of those great big bites. And then that's how you catch one of those 27 pound bags. That's awesome. Love the confidence. Standing in the parking lot, other guys are out there. He still thinks he's going to win this thing. We're going to try. Found a big one. Finally found one. And it ain't no baby. It ain't no great biggin'. He came up in a wave out there and I was like, biggin', but it ain't. First one we've thrown at. not a bad sign it's crazy how this point looks so consistent and then I get to a waypoint which is where I've caught them in the past and there's fish there but there's like nothing special about it as far as I can tell 
Come on. Maybe it's bigger than I think. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a nice one. That's a nice one. Okay, okay. I'm ready to be done if you are. We can just call a truce on all this fighting stuff. We'll go take you a picture. Make me a little more money. It'll be a very cordial environment. We ain't got long to do it today. But we might do it. Take four more just like that. Just like him. He's got to be a four pounder at least. Oh, yeah. Four, one, four, two. Yep. Uh, well, I, I'm talking to you now. I'm just gonna... His teeth's on my line bad. Yeah, but. His lines on my teeth, so I'm playing him super, super light. Oh, I got you. And his teeth on my line. Yeah. No, it is a big one. No, this is a real one. This is live right now. I didn't bring no scissors. Gah. I found some. Maybe. I did find some. They ain't quite as stout as my sunline scissors, but they'll do. I think so. Do you have it in your mouth? A little bit of aerodynamics on that one. <laughs> I need you, baby. I'm looking right at the fish and I see the fish swimming up and I, I couldn't see my bait, but then it was just, I was like, he's got to have it because he's not following it down. It's a nice one. We will take anything right now that's over three pounds. Another one with it, right beside it. Yeah. I mean, swallow.
They're right here. Had to make a little adjustment. Hard to adjust in three hours, but had to. Just need a big one. That's a, looks like a one over three pounder anyways. He's almost to the rocks. So I gotta stop him. I just snagged him when he came up one time. Around with nope. <laughs> Shout out to Justin for letting me use his boat. I appreciate it. Your Christmas present is going to be some pliers and some scissors. <laughs> I mean, he's like 15 feet deep and I can just see him perfect. And I can see the two more that are biting my weight right now. <laughs> when it gets slick, it looks absurd. How big are them other ones? I don't think they're no bigger than this one. We're in 16 feet and you can just see the bottom. All right, come on. I'm ready if you're ready. And if you're ready, we're ready. Well, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's not going to be my smallest one. Oh, man, fumble. He might be my smallest one, actually. Number five. That's a good one. Did you just hook a big one? It ain't big, but it's a good one. I think it's gonna call. <laughs> I need like two pounds for the century mark. Oh my god, get it, get it. I hope he's bigger than he looks. I think so. <laughs> you don't need this one. All right, you got me? Man, we had a lot of trials and tribulations today, but uh, still caught a decent bag. Not good, you know, probably a very average bag for this lake and probably be the smallest bag of the day, but we overcame a lot of stuff and you know still had a pretty pretty eventful day fishing so can't complain too much and definitely can't complain with winning AOI yesterday so we'll take it for sure. There was a small adjustment that I needed to make today and I have time to figure it out. Because I've I seen them still, well, but I've I seen them enough. But I do put them in my side up for you. Ain't used to them kind. Do what? Ain't used to them kind. Yeah, 
bag. I never remember when you said come up with a That water is so much warmer than the lava water. Come up here and take a look. First pack, then they were. I brought my son up here last year. Yeah, pretty impressed son. by your calmness and your cool nice. not letting things bother you. No, you still show it. That's the trick. I'm showing it. Exactly. Good sir. Congratulations. Thank you, Ryan. And then it was body? I tried three more divisions, but I missed it. They got your weight. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got your weight. Put in with me. Yeah. Yeah. Even dreaded. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Dude, I was wondering why you didn't pass me this morning. I kept looking at it. I was about to. I, I had just got out of the hallway. Came up there. We got a tournament to decide. And more fitting that we go from our Rookie of the Year to this next angler. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He was your day two leader. He is officially your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Tau Welcher. Started the day with 79 pounds of five ounces. Five fish to add that here today needs 24 pounds and 8 ounces to take the lead. 20 pounds and 7 ounces puts him in fourth place with 99 pounds and 12 ounces. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, to steal a line from the great Bob Cobb, the thrill of victory and the agony of angling. This time yesterday, you hoisted one of the most coveted trophies in professional bass fishing. But today was a much different day. I mean, it's when I saw you, you left, it was all good. But tell me what happened after you left. Yeah, so I made it about a mile and a half and I had some mechanical issues. So. Shout out to Justin Atkins. He came and got me, towed me back in. We got went to the service yard, got everything fixed out, put it back in, made it like half a mile, and I had an issue again. So changed some stuff out. Then I ran like 10 miles, had the issue again. So I got it back working, ran like five more miles, and then finally I just got Justin to bring me his boat. We swapped on the water. I still got to fish for enough where I feel like I should have caught him a little bit better, but definitely did miss, you know, over half the day, but hey, this is still a phenomenal fishery. We went out there on a short time and caught 20 pounds, so that just, my hat's off of this lake. This week, I mean, obviously, I mean, I know the competitor you are. You, 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 none of them are happy with second ever. None of, you know, you come here to win everything, but man, you're an angler of the year, and uh, Watching you deal with adversity today, anybody can be a champion when things are going right, but watching you deal with adversity today, dude, you didn't get flapped the whole day. It looked like you felt like you had a shot to win this right to the very end, and you lived up to your name, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher, because you are unflappable, dude. Well, I mean, some of the things you just can't control. Like, I, I will get a little frustrated if I make mental decisions or if I do something wrong that I know better, but like, mechanical problems, stuff like that, losing fish sometimes, like all that type of stuff. You can't control it. So, I mean, you get mad about it, it's just going to ruin the rest of your day. So, I just try to control everything I can, and that's, you know, something I can't control. So, we just do the best we can, be as prepared as we can, and if it happens, it happens. It's been a great season with you. Let's hear it for your Angler of the Year.